Hi, welcome to Reform Tech channel. In this video, I'll talk about CloudWatch. So, uh, CloudWatch is a monitoring service uh, for AWS and it collects and stores operational metrics uh, for EC2 instance, VPC, Lambda and uh, many other services. Okay? So, what you can do is you can create alarms that watch these metrics and it will send notification or automatically also it can make the changes to the resources that you are monitoring when a threshold is breached. Right. So, for example, you can uh, monitor the CPU usage and disk reads and writes of your EC2 instance and then using that data, you can determine whether you wanted to uh, uh, keep, I mean, you wanted to launch additional instances or you wanted to uh, stop underused instances to save money also. So, uh, there are many other advantages with CloudWatch. So, that could be done and out of which now I'm going to show you how can we create a billing alarm to monitor your AWS charges. Okay, So, uh, I'm going to create a billing alarm saying that if my AWS uh, charge reaches this much, uh, I'll set a threshold, uh, send me an email. Right? So, I'm going to create that. For which, I'm going to go to CloudWatch service. I'll choose CloudWatch service. <coughs> All right, so I am on the CloudWatch page now. So here uh, you see an option called as billing. And if you do not see this option billing here, you have to first enable your billing, okay? For which what you have to do is you have to go to your uh, account, go to billing dashboard and just scroll down and you have the billing preference here, okay? You have to click on billing preference and you have to check this receive billing alerts, all right? So you check this and save this and uh, it will take uh, 15 to 20 minutes to reflect once you save this. So once you do this, then you will see the option billing in your CloudWatch. Okay, so first we have to enable the billing here. Only then the billing option will be available in your CloudWatch. So now I go to CloudWatch, I go to billing and here I'm going to create an alarm. All right, so in this alarm, you can name this alarm. I will name it as reform tech billing alarm all right so and usd you can uh, change it to inr also if you wanted to whatever currency you want you can just change it to that currency and uh, the threshold type now uh, is the place where we have to set our threshold so set threshold i'm going to set it like uh, if the my billing crosses thousand rupees then you have to trigger me an alarm trigger me an alarm or trigger me an email, whatever your recommend is. All right, so now I have set the threshold as 1000 and I'll say next. And this is the place where you can set the notification. All right, so AWS has a service called as SNS. Okay, this is a simple notification service. And through this service, we will be able to uh, receive the notification from AWS. All right, so I do not have any SNS topic. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll create a new topic. I will say reform tech here, reform tech alarm topic. And here I have to uh, put my uh, email address. Okay, so I'm going to put my email address reform gmail.com. All right, so this is my email address and I'll say create topic. So this will create a topic and uh, yeah, this would have created a topic now and this is the email you see here <clears throat> yeah so now uh, what I'll do is I will you can also uh, click on this auto scaling if you want to uh, scale your instances but now I will leave this as it is and I will go and say next all right so alarm name I'll say uh, reform tech description it's optional if you want you can give or you can leave it blank I'll say next all right just preview this details say create alarm now uh, the alarm got created okay so now if you just scroll uh, to your right you see a warning here okay this warning says that the action sends a message to an sns topic and that is pending for your confirmation okay it will work it will not work as expected until the endpoint is confirmed okay so now you have to confirm your endpoint so how do we do it so now uh, at this point of time you would have received an email to the email id which you have gave so I'll quickly display the screen. So this is the email which I've received from AWS. So here, this is the endpoint which you got. So I'm going to click on confirm subscription. So when I click on this confirm subscription, so it says subscription confirmed. All right. So with this, 
subscription ID. So now I'll switch to my CloudWatch metrics. I'll refresh this tab. It's loading. And uh, now you do not see the warning message. So meaning that it is now active. So now you will receive an alarm. You will receive a notification to your email if your account exceeds more than thousand rupees. Okay, thousand is the threshold I have set. So if it exceeds more than thousand, you will receive an alarm. All right. So uh, CloudWatch, yes, these are the uh, major advantages, and uh, these are the things we could do with CloudWatch. Yeah. So that's it about it, and uh, we'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.